Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel English Literature. Today we are going to read George Orwell's Animal Form. Though the book length is 104, just a few minimal pages, but the thought or the theme that is presented here is a bit tough and comprehensive. George Orwell, alias Eric Arthur Blair, is an illustrious name in the history of English literature. Generally speaking, his creations are unique and oblique, with a deep-rooted tone of satire, as well as, as a protest against total, totalitarianism and the tyrannical hypocrisy of social hegemony. So, from the introduction, you can uh, author's introduction, you can imagine that which type of work we are about to meet. Introduction: All animals are equal. But some animals are more equal than others. This line is itself a word ambiguous. All animals are equal. We said that all the human beings are equal. But in our daily life or in our life, we never follow that rule. Everywhere there is unequality. Animal Farm, published in 1945 by George Orwell, celebrates a more in-depth theme than a mere story of some farm animals, uprooting human rule over them and setting up the animal kingdom. So this is not an animal story, that the animals are just um, dethrone the human being and take the sceptre in their hand. There is an underlying meaning, a hidden meaning. And in every way, it is an allegorical journey on the part of the author to dig out the bitter history of human psychology and civilization. Plot. So, come to the storyline. That is, on a farm, what is the name of the farm? You can get this, info, uh, you must get this information. The name of the farm is Manor Farm. Intoxicated by a vigorous speech and idealism of Old Major. Who was Old Major? A bow. So Old Major, a bow, just delivered a lecture that intoxicated the listeners and they um, set out for the rebel against the human beings. The animals gathered and kicked down the whip of Mr. Jones. So Mr. Jones, who is Mr. Jones? He is the owner of Manor Farm. A drunkard and irresponsible farmer. Consequently, they aim to stop the exploitation and atrocities of human society as well as to build a utopian society through their combined labor and equality. This is their dream combined labor. Everyone will work and everyone will be equal. The inherent theme or essence or pithy of what? Communism. That everyone is equal and every labor, everyone's labor will be equal. There will be no class uh, discrimination, nothing. Une unequality in this society. And that utopian society they are going to found by kicking out Mr. Jones and taking the sceptre in their hand. They renamed their home state. What they renamed? They renamed it as Animal Farm. Just while reading, keep uh, go on uh, keeping note on this topic. First name was Manor Farm, owner was Mr. Jones, and who gave the lecture? the old major, the boar, and later name was animal form. But gradually corruption and power mongers encroached in the dreamland. Under the tyranny of Napoleon, who was Napoleon? Napoleon was a pig. All their previous attributes collapsed in utter futility. What were their previous attributes? Their promise to make and to build an utopian society where everyone will labor equally and everyone will be treated as equal. So all their previous attributes collapsed in utter futility and ludicrous atrocities. What had happened to the faces of the pigs? 
the creatures outside look from pig to man and from man to pig and from pig to man again so this line suggest the hypocrite nature of the pig the pigs take the throne from the man and now they are behaving like man and they are talking about equality they gathered and fought against the human and banned all human practices like trade alcohol etc but later through the agency of humans napoleon was engaged in complicated negotiations with other firms so um, trade alcohol that human qualities that they banned they again be in practice in that form political allegory reflection of historical incidents actually animal farm is totally an allegory particularly political allegory it is not a tale of animals we talk about that later uh, earlier so how it is a political allegory that we have to see now every incident that happened in animal farm is a reflection of russian history Animal Farm is the retelling of the Russian Revolution in 1917, where every character and incidents were drawn from history. Driving out of Mr. Jones by the animals is a direct hint at the abdication of Nicholas II after the Russian Revolution. So these are the points. These are the points that make Animal Farm a political allegory. the notion of seven commandments of animalism is copied from the epic thesis of lenin again trotsky's banishment from soviet union is caricatured in snowball's expulsion from the animal farm snowball was expelled from the troop and that is related to trotsky's banishment when napoleon claimed snowball's windmill idea as his own we are reminded of stalin's adoption of trotsky's five year plan again stalin's nkvd to carry out his orders is here exhibited by napoleon's dogs moscow trial is represented by napoleon's execution of four pigs who rebelled against him while you go through the novel you will find these points the execution of four pigs or the banishment of snowball and then you can relate these things with these historical facts that make the text and political allegory napoleon's alliance with mr frederick is an allusion to molotov ribbentrop pact between russia and germany Next the German invasion of Russia is portrayed through the destruction of the wound well made by the animals by Mr Frederick and his men Treaty with Pilkington by Napoleon in animal form is the inkling to the post dam conference led to the division of Germany Stalin replaces the international with the national anthem of the soviet union as napoleon replaces the firm anthem beast of england with comrade napoleon okay so this will be a long note you can also use in your um, project work or class note as you can use now war is peace and ignorance is strength it sounds like what oxymoron but it is a truth and that truth is represented in a superb manner in animal form satire quality what are the features of satire present here george orwell with painstaking excellence draws all the characters and their behavioral transformation in a wonderful satirical tone that demands wide applause how the pigs like snowball napoleon engaged in power politics and try to gain the throne is just a mirror image of human world in human world every time we just fight for the power who will be the throne who will take the power politically economically socially and that human uh, struggle and human continuous human fight is represented here their vows to abdicate all human profligacy actually whatever the promises whatever the vows they just they just fell apart 
and that shows the character of, of human beings actually and uh, every animal seems equal at the beginning but very soon after the utopian sky changes in dystopian darkness under an oligar oligarchy of pigs somehow it seemed as though the farm had grown richer without making the animal themselves any richer except of course for the pigs and the dogs so from this line you, you can see that um, in the in the society some part became very rich and um, they profitable and their life developed privileged class that one class became privileged class that like the human human civilization that one part is privileged and the other part is just a part of exploited if you read the novel you will feel sorry for the horse particularly the horse who is so good in nature but uh, throughout his life he was just exploited even at his death time so there is a clear inkling that at the historical pages celebrating the power struggle of lenin marx trotsky stalin all the communist time is represented communist leaders their power struggle all these things are represented here now we'll talk about the characters the characters who are here first of all old major that we have the, who gave the lecture he is a board next is napoleon actually whatever old major told he told for the right and he told the right thing but who came to serve his ideas they were not right in their nature or they get corrupted or poisoned with their greed next is napoleon and the pig leader who is molded upon joseph stalin next is snowball snowball is the pig who was the opponent of napoleon and squaller it is uh, true for all the country here he talk about um, russia or this uh, this people but actually it is relevant animal farm is relevant for i as an indian i can tell animal farm is relevant for india the fight between snowball and napoleon is also the fight i can tell the fight between after the after our independence the fight for the throne this is a universal nature the power corruption greed for power power mongery so this is true for everyone boxer that dedicated cars hard and who i will work harder whose own um, dialogue was i will work harder he does not bother about a anything he just try to work hard and more hard clover if female cat dog he was more serious and intelligent than boxer it would have been to say that this way not what they had aimed at when they had set themselves years ago to work for the overthrow of the human race she was very wise and she understood everything other characters are moses a tame raven molly there is the list of other characters you mu must not neglect them all the characters are here important because they may be asked as short answer type question multiple choice question who is mr frederick so who is mr frederick the owner of pinch filled farm who is mr pilkington and who is mr whimper and this type of jc and bluebell minimas so all the character benjamin who is benjamin or uh, can you name the donkey who firmly believe that no rebellion or anything can change the life of farm animals so who is the character who believe such type of things that, that is benjamin annual farm annual farm never through me shall thou come to harm and this is who wrote these lines these poems this is the minimas the poet pig so these characters are very important every character in annual farm you have to keep in mind which character is molded by um, which character on the frame of which actual character in uh, political history but at the same time you have to remember the name of every character there are numerous characters and they have some role is in this novel so you have to remember all these name just take your pen and paper and just make a list of the names just in this way you can do that just name and just given here an identity name and identity in this way you just put a name here and identity here 
and you can give a heading annual form in this way just make it and it will be very helpful for you you can remember more authentically so characters and symbols characters and symbols of historical figures annual form is a particular allegory as well as amalgamation of symbol there are various symbols is working there first the annual form itself is a symbol annual form is a symbol of russia more broadly i can i just tell you that maybe george will particularly speak about russia or highlighted here russia russian politics but annual form is relevant in its universal appeal for all the human society all the country and all the race we all are same old major stands for the father of communism karl marx or maybe you can say somewhere vladimir lenin and in this way every character and the incident plays they all represent some of the part of the history and they are molded in this way dogs are military police birds are left out of the animal society as many several classes remain segregated in a society you can find many classes are just segregated alienated from the main stream of life and even in animal society the birds are so much like that raven moose symbolizes the russian orthodox church sif represents the masses of common people who just follow the communist party without question okay <clears throat> the focus the vulnerable yet unavoidable hand of corruption that corruption is something there is no hope or else so there is no hope there is something that we cannot just avoid corruption an utter hollowness and loopholes of marx system the society will be equal through rebellion what marx demanded that society will be equal no class distinction distinction no labor distinction whole society will be same but that is not possible and the demons of power mongers totalitarianism is always proven powerful to the dream of communism so you can say that totalitarianism versus communism is the most powerful theme the main theme of this novel is that and for orwell communism is so weak because communism is made with human beings and human beings are so weak with their greed with their power hunger that it is not possible to win against totalitarianism okay so it is from my blog alf, blog alvina.com you can search in the website blog alvina.com here you get the various types of literary pieces literary text and discussion about them you can check it it will be helpful if you are interested in literary literature and particularly english literature such high flown ideas combined within the short periphery of book pages cover all the themes like communalism political bureaucracy it is not an easy task to well search over the head concept under the cloak of a fabel so here is the competency the geniusity of orwell his adroitness is here that he can deal with such tough political subject under the cloak of a fable even a child without any knowledge of marxism or the history of russian revolution can enjoy the story yes he will not uh, he or she will not understand the actual meaning but what's the matter he can read so the language is so easy flowing and it is so story like i just want to uh, enforce that point that language is so easy so easy flowing that anyone can read it even a child even a kid can read it without understanding the underlying meaning but this theme of russian history communism marxism lenin all are molded in this fairy tale like story the most important point for me is the relevance of the theme for all ages and all the nation as the atrocities of power politics never end and corruption of the human heart is never banned even in today's political and social scenario annual form is bitterly and nakedly true and we can experience we we experience it every day in our life okay 
सो थैंक यू विथ जॉर्ज ऑरवेल्स एनिमल फॉर्म बाय